We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Drinks are flowing, there's dancing, there's music. Oh, I just want to sleep. Turn around. I'm in the foreign country of Wasted. There's no slowing down. This is so oh my god. Party doesn't go. stop at the lights. Why? And now I know I have no idea what's going on. So right now, you can pick up on my man Chunky. What up? And Amir's good friend, Chunky, aka Ken, who's Colombian and who happens to be in Cartagena at the same time, linked up with Amir. So he invited us to his family's finca. Today we're going to a finca. Which is like a farmhouse. Word. Big as fuck. We're gonna have a lot of drinks, like fucking 20 bottles of Buchanan, beer, <laughs> that has hella food. Family is gonna be fun. We have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. We just know it's gonna be a local experience. So we end up getting in the car with Chunky and we, we get to this farmhouse 30, 45 minutes away. The three of us walk in with Chunky and instantly we get head started. So we're kind of a little nervous. Like, you know, we don't really know what's going on. We're like, okay, you know, we're filling it out. We're the outsiders. But uh, Chunky's uncle, whose part is was, comes up with wide open arms. He's already drunk. He's like, hello. And so he's like, come here, everyone. Come here, everyone. Come here, everyone. We're like, whoa, okay, okay. So uh, he brings us around and we start meeting all these people. And we're like, okay, cool. We're like, Getting the feel of like everyone here at the party. This is great. We just got here. There's gonna be some food served. There's birthday cake being served. There's drinks are flowing. There's dancing. There's music. You could not ask for a better Cartagena Colombian experience right now. Tell me about this food. What we got right, right here? Right here we, we got have some stew goat, from natural, all from Colombia. We also have the yuca, the traditional Caribbean root, and then we have some of the Cartagena cheese. We have some of the most traditional foods that we can find in Cartagena. And then like the drinks are fun. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey! So what is it with the shots and like the whiskey? They just go around and... They just go around the whole night and you just stay drunk, pretty you much. Stay drunk, I mean, you yeah. can take a little shot, but it's like 27 in three hours, so... Yeah. Good. It's having a good time. It's having a good time. So all of a sudden, the lights went off. The lights went out. It's, uh... Just making the most of it. Until the lights come back on, then we'll Party be ready to go. Party doesn't stop if the lights go. Party doesn't stop. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. It's not, it's not how I roll here. You know, as the night goes on, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> We've had a lot of shots. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a long they don't, time. They, these Colombians, they don't drink water. They don't eat. They just drink, and it's it's only 9:30, and they're telling me I have to stay till 5 a.m. We're gonna be okay. Uh, yeah, I know. we'll be okay. I promise. He promises. Me. As soon as the lights finally went back on, Chunky's family and his uncle, they all came back with more booze. Oh my god. More booze just arrived. Why? <laughs> There's no slowing down. There's no. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, we we'll just keep drinking. Keep drinking. Good vibes. Dan was learning how to salsa. We're dancing. We're learning some moves. And then, uh, one way or another, I, I started getting real tired. It's pretty crazy. Um, there's just no end. But, you know, we're going to keep hanging out, having a good time. Because we have no other option. No other choice. <laughs> So, I ended up falling asleep at the party in the hammock, and uh, thank goodness I did, because everyone is absolutely smashed. Dan, Dan's done. Dan's out of here. Uh, we got separated from Amir and Chunky. They're in another car. We got put in someone's random car, so we at the party. And uh, we're driving away from the party. His wife is pissed. The husband is absolutely hammered and Dan and I are crammed in the back, and then we still have no idea where we're going. And she stops off the highway to decide where a gas station is. Mm -hmm. And she goes, you, you, you guys get out here. I'm like, oh, it's, what, what's going on? Is Chunky coming or like, yeah, your friend's coming. Your friend's coming. In her broken English, that's what she said to me. So I just get out of the car with drunk Dan. And now I know, I have no idea what's going on. 
I have no idea where Amir is. I have no idea where Chunky is. Called Amir. He's not picking up because he's probably hammered. And now we're just waiting. We got dropped off on this fucking sidewalk. It's probably 1 a.m. now at this point. We're in nowhere's land. Another 30 minutes goes by. Finally, Amir calls and it's Chunky on the line. He goes, where are you, where are you? I'm like, I have no idea. I see this, I see this. He's like, I know where you are. Okay, so we just got back. Chunky and Amir picked us up. It's stupid as fuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, thank goodness. And now um, we're just gonna head back. It was, uh, it was a great night. It was fun. <laughs> Not the end of the night. The end of the night was not fun. Are you okay, but uh, now we're in a car. We're, we're together. <laughs> Mir's annoyed right now. And so, uh, good times. Good times in Carthage. I'm so sorry.